Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to this tutorial series and yeah, let's build a project together. So in this tutorial series, what I'd like to do is equip you guys with some skills that go beyond simply copying down some code. I don't want you to watch this tutorial series and only coming uh, only come out of it at the end having just copied down code I want you to learn uh, a little bit more about web design and web development so I want you guys to learn some uh, terminology I'm also going to show you guys some common design trends and we're going to take a whole bunch of languages that I have spoken to you about or taught you about previously in all my other tutorials and we're going to combine those all together to make one big website. So basically we're going to take some HTML5 and CSS, we're going to combine that with a front end framework that I really like using which is called UIKit and then we're going to combine that with some JavaScript and some PHP and at the end of it, all of that is going to come together to make one static website. But we're not going to jump straight into coding. So I actually want to show you guys a little bit more about the uh, programming process or the web design process. And basically, I want to start off by introducing you guys to a project management tool that I use quite a lot, which is called Asana. And then we're going to move on from Asana. Uh, and we're actually going to take a look at some real world websites. And I'm going to take a look at those websites and show you guys uh, what's good about them and what I like about these websites. And we're going to try and convert some of those aspects into a design. So we're actually going to make a design in Photoshop. I'm going to show you guys how to use Photoshop uh, and how to make a grid in Photoshop. And from there, we're going to make the design. And then finally, we'll move over to converting that Photoshop design into code. So there is a lot of stuff that's going into uh, actually building this website. And yeah, if you guys came here just to jump straight into code, I'll probably leave a link somewhere up here or in the video description down below, you can go ahead and check either one of those links out. And you can jump straight into the coding part at the end. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to know a little bit more about how this works in the real world and how to manage projects and how to design stuff, then uh, yeah, you're probably going to want to stay tuned for the next couple of videos. So now let's talk about what you're going to need to follow along with this tutorial series. And like I said, we are going to be working with HTML5 and CSS. So I'm going to assume that you're at least a moderate level user there. Uh, I'm also going to be working with PHP. So I'm going to assume that you have a little bit of experience with PHP. I'm not going to assume that you're an expert. Uh, so don't worry if uh, you're not entirely an expert in PHP just yet. Uh, I'm also going to assume that you have a little bit of experience in JavaScript, although we might not be using that much JavaScript. So again, uh, if you are not a professional at JavaScript, then don't worry too much. Uh, we're not going to uh, you're not going to get lost if you don't know too much, but at least uh, if you've had some experience, maybe moderate to beginner level Java exper JavaScript experience, uh, that's going to help as well. Then I'm going to be using UIKit. And I understand that a lot of you guys might not be a professional at UIKit just yet. Uh, so I'm actually going to assume that most of you have no experience with UIKit. So don't worry if you don't have experience with UIKit, that is not going to be a problem. Then I'm also going to assume that you have a little bit of experience with a uh, MAMP, LAMP, Apache kind of setup. So I'm going to be using MAMP in these tutorials. And uh, I do have some videos that you can go ahead and watch if you don't have any experience in MAMP. And I'll leave a link to those either in the description down below or up here in the corner. So you can go ahead and watch my videos on MAMP. And yeah, that's going to be really useful if you have no experience with MAMP. Uh, and then from there, we're also going to need you to know a little bit of Photoshop. So I'm not going to assume that you're some Photoshop pro because I'm not a Photoshop pro either. But as long as you have a little bit of experience and you know how to navigate your way around some of the Photoshop tools, uh, you should be fine with uh, some basic understanding of Photoshop as well. So now that you know what you need to follow along with this tutorial series, I hope to see you guys in the next video, but I'm going to end this one off here. And as always, I just want to send a huge shout out to my patrons. So my patrons are uh, guys who contribute $5 or more every single month on Patreon. And that goes a long way to helping me make more videos for you guys more often. And if you want to download the code for this tutorial series, then go ahead and become a $1 patron because that's going to allow you to download all of the code that we're going to work through in 
this tutorial series. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share this video because that's really gonna help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.